G'day everyone, um, I'm Nick Bowditch. Uh Thank you for watching this uh, video or the live video if you're watching it live. Um, as some of you might know, I've just had a three week break from everything um, and but today's my first day back. So I've been basically working on my mental health, um, working on uh, some addictive behaviors and my depression and my post-traumatic stress disorder uh, that has kind of that I deal with every day. And so I've been away um, working on that stuff, working on me. And so today I thought I really wanted to just make this post today to be a bit more kind of personally aimed at people like me who struggle with that sort of, sort of thing and struggle with their mental health. Not in a way that says, you know, I know all the answers or I've got all the stuff and I've got my shit together because I certainly don't. But in a way that says, I hear you, I see you. You know, I, I know what it's like to sometimes have your depression so strong that you can't get out of bed, that you can't possibly face another day you know, that you can't function the way that you want to or the way that other people want you to. And if that's you, then I see you and I'm with you. And so today I wanted to just share three things that sum all of that stuff up for me. And there are three things that I've learned in the last few weeks, but there are three things really that I've learned in 44 years of, of living, but I never really knew it until I had a really solid look at myself in the last few weeks. The first thing is nobody is going to give you permission but you. Nobody is going to give you permission to take a three-week break from work or a three-week break from your family or from your life or whatever it might be. Nobody's going to give you that permission but you. So give yourself that permission. A lot of us say, you know, will think, oh, fuck, I can't take three weeks off work. I can't take a month away from my kids. I can't take away a month from my, my wife or my husband or my family. You know, they need me too much and, and whatever. And it's just really codependent thinking for a start. But then it's also, well... If you don't give yourself permission, permission to do that, nobody else is going to. Your family's not going to say, can you please take a month away from us? Can you please take a month away from work to make sure you're better for us? Like, no, they're not going to. You have to give yourself that permission. And it's really hard. But if you don't, then, you know, you're just going to say, truck along the same shit every day and it just accumulates on top of itself and it makes your life so much harder and it makes you so much harder to live with. So that's the first thing I want to say is nobody's going to give you permission but you. The second thing that I've really found out in the last few weeks is nobody can help you if you aren't honest with yourself. For a long time, I haven't been honest with myself about how my PTSD has affected my life, how my depression affects my life how my addictive behaviors affect my life and affect everybody else's life around me. And so if I haven't been honest with myself, nobody else is going to be able to help you. Nobody else is going to say something to me and I'm going to accept it if I don't accept myself. If I don't accept that I can be honest with myself and say, these things are not good about me. These are the things I need to work on. These are the things I need to do so that I can be better, I can be a better man, I can be a better husband, I can be a better dad, I can be a better son, a better mate. But I have to be honest with myself about those things first, and I never was. And I'm just starting to be now. So that's the second thing that I want to sort of say is, you know, nobody can help you if you're not honest with yourself in the first place. The third thing is, nobody else is coming then nobody's coming to save you. The cavalry's not riding over the hill. You know, people might ring you and people might reach out to you and people might want you to be better. And that's awesome if they do. But in the end, 
That's going to be up to you. Nobody else is coming. And if you sit around and wallow in your shit like I've done for a long, long, long time and expect somebody else to come and help and then blame them when they don't, then that's just piling the shit on top of yourself. Because nobody is going to come and dig you out of that but you. And you've got to take some responsibility for that yourself. Or I do anyway. I can only speak for me. And then the last thing I want to say is that, and this might sound really kind of narcissistic, but nobody is more important than you. Nobody is more important than you. If you are always, if you are someone who always puts yourself behind the needs of your children, behind the needs of your partner, your community, your workmates, your customers, whatever, then you are always going to be putting yourself back in priority in life. And if you can't be the best version of yourself by putting yourself first, then you can't help anybody, any, anyone else anyway. You know, the, the, the codependent person in us says, I don't want to make myself first. I, I want to help everyone else. I want to serve. I want, I want to be a good husband. I want, to, you know, I, want, I want my kids to get whatever they want. And in doing that, you're just putting yourself down the rungs on the ladder of attention and time. And, and that means you can't serve them properly anyway. You know, nobody is more important than you. And I want to leave that by saying, if any of those things resonate with you, I'd love to have um, you know, your comments in the, in, uh, below this, or if you want to share this video, that'd be great too, if you think somebody else might um, get something from it as well. But if you are struggling with any of those things or struggling with just getting out of bed, I see you, right? I hear you. I know who you are because that's me. And if you need me to help you, then I would love you to reach out to me or to somebody because nobody else is coming. Nobody else can help you if you aren't honest with yourself and nobody is more important than you. I hope you have a really great Friday. It's Friday here in Australia. I hope you have a really great Friday wherever you are. And be kind to yourself. Go and find your kindness. See you guys.